Barak New Guinea Limited in a media statement calling out the Anga governor for his stand on Pogara, stating that the governor was well aware that the state had previously owned 20% of the Pogara joint venture, along with the 5% of the operation owned jointly by Anga provincial government and the special mining lease landowners, meaning that 25% of the mine was owned by Papua New Guinea. Barak stating that the 20% of the state was then sold to oil search in 2003. The next generation will judge what I, as a governor for, for the province, did when the SML expired. Sir Peter Ipeta stating that Barrick had operated for 30 years with no disturbance and on agreed terms from 1989. Sir Peter stating 30 years was long enough for Barrick's foreign shareholders to be satisfied and now wanted better terms for the province and the country. Our desire to increase our participation in the, at, at the mine. So as the governor of the province, I represent my people. I represent the people of the SML area as well as the general Inga population. And during my watch, the next generation will judge what I, as the governor for, for the province, did when the SML expired after 30 years. So I'm saying that because it is a, it is a, a depleting resource, it is only fair for the company to realize that they have to part with, you know, the shareholdings uh, that they have enjoyed for a long time, and that's 95 percent. Responding to the governor's claim that PNG has only received 100 million kina in taxes per year from Pogara Mine over the past 15 years, Barak said that taxes that have been generated by Pogara Mine and paid to the government over the period have been far greater. Barak also claimed that over 4 billion kina in tax and access revenues had been paid to the government since mining at Pogara began with over 368 million kina paid to the government in taxes and access arising from 2019 op operations alone. Sir Peter says every investor or company operating PNG will at the end of the day pay taxes and that is rightfully for the government and what the government and the provincial government wants are better terms for the people. Talking about their scenario, the proposal that they've, they put to the national government, it is about taxes, uh, income tax, you know, all the taxes, uh, tax credit. They are putting all this, that's, that's rightfully that it's already uh, uh, the people and the states. Uh, participation or revenue anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's, whether it's Barrick or another company, the nation will still benefit on this uh, taxes and tax credits uh, projects and so on. What we are talking about is a commercial hand. Now we have an opportunity, just like Octedi. You know, Octedi is 100%. But in this scenario, we are now trying to negotiate for a better stake in the Pogra mine. Meanwhile, issues in Pogra Valley's communities of electricity shortage, banking and hospital services, along with business loss for locals, is something the governor says is a short-term loss for a long-term gain. Sir Peter stating it will be something the provincial government will take into account on putting together a sustainable plan for the valley going forward. Prime Minister said uh, short-term pain for a long-term gain. So we will not compromise. We will not compromise. You know, the, uh, we know there's some hardship, but, uh, you know, that's life. Uh, if we want to have a longer-term uh, gain, we have to make the sacrifices. I want the people to understand. It is easier for people like myself, you know, to compromise. You know, my people must understand. The province must understand. The people of this nation must understand. We have had enough of compromising leaders in this country. For once we have to stand up for what is rightfully ours. And this is the opportunity I have. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister today on the FM100 Talkback show had this to say about the Pogara mine. Don't sensationalize issues out there in the public space, in the, you know, in the, in the media. You, know. you, you feel you have some residual uh, right? Talk to us. Get rid of the court case. You talk mm -hmm. to us. Well, uh, you know, we can uh, hear you, but it will be on terms that is friendly to our country. Adelaide Strokes, Kari National, MTV News.